Detective is a strong villager with the ability to check two players for their team. And notice that I said teams and not aura. It has a good aura and is currently the base role of the Mortician. Let's say you checked player A with player B. They will appear to be in the same team because both are a villager. However, if uh, player A is a villager and player B is a werewolf, they will appear to not be in the same team because they don't share the same team. Although detective's information isn't as direct compared to other informer, detective can still be powerful and let's get on with the video. Number 1. What to do with the newfound information so, you have to share your information every day, uh, regardless of what happens, unless you were nightmared, but you have to say that you were nightmared. So, the reason to share your information is that village are the uninformed majority and they rely on information to win. So, with your information, you're able to deduce more easily. To write down your information, you say x, x is equal to y, or x is not equal to y. However, replace the x and y with the numbers you checked. And make sure to say that every day. You must ask the players you checked for the role. Because detective's information isn't as direct compared to Aura's here, there is no good or not good information. And detective must ask players for their role. Equal information means that both players have to be a werewolf or a villager, and unequal, vi unequal uh, information means that at least one of these players has to be an evil. Number 2. Who to check. The question of who to check isn't really a direct question because detective's information isn't direct on checking a player to see if they're good or not. Ch detective's information is basically checking to see the current team of the players. You can perform two check, which is active check and confirmation check. So, about active check. Active check is where you check two unconfirmed players to see if they are on the same team or not. The purpose of this check is to cl get claims from two players and confirm a player or two players. Though your unfortunate counter is a fool, but fool is literally a counter to everything, so we're going to ignore fool. Next up is confirmation check. Confirmation check is where you check a player with a hard confirmed villager. An example is that you checked a gunner who made a shot with an unconfirmed villager. If they are on the same team as a gunner, then they're a villager. But if they're not on the same team as a gunner, then they're an evil. However, do know that the wolf shaman is an unfortunate counter to this if he knows your checking pattern. So, with that being said, you should only do this if you're sure that there's no wolf shaman in the game. Number 3. Things to consider. Wolf shaman makes the player the enchanted to appear as a wolf shaman, meaning that they will be equal to the werewolf team but unequal to the village team. Illusionist makes the disguised player appear as an illusionist, so that means they would appear unequal to everyone. Sorcerer will appear to be in the same team as a villager because the sorcerer's disguised role is a villager. Lurker while unturned will appear as not in the same team with everyone. Zombie appears to be in the same team with other zombies. Headhunter will always appear as not to be in the same team as everyone regardless of their target status. Number 4. What to do when you have a detective counterclaim. In most setup, detective is unique, meaning that only one detective can be appear in game as there is no strong villager or random role that the, or that detective can spawn in or more than one detective so so you assume that the other player is fake unless you're playing in the game of like all random but anyway it isn't really uncommon for evil to fake detective and here's what player you could do number one try to gain credibility the problem players face into is that they push while they don't have any form of credibility. Your goal here is to try to prove that the other detective is fake, but 
to prove that the other detective is fake is that you need to ha gain more trust over the detective so that you can prove to the other detective that they're fake. Try to point out things that, uh, that would make them obviously fake. And absolutely do not check y your detective counterclaim because if both detectives checks each other, who would village vote? Of course they won't try to take this 50-50 because you would be making more 50-50 if you check the other detective claim. And anyway, who would village trust? A detective that checks uh, a werewolf and finds them, or a detective that checked his counterclaim? Of course they would trust the detective that finds the werewolf. So in that case you should try to push other werewolves. But once you have credibility, you could push your counterclaim and check them. Anyway, this is the end of the video, and if you enjoyed the video and this guide, why not like? And if you enjoyed the overall content, why not subscribe? And I'll see you in the next video.